Welcome back everyone and today we're going to be teaching you 10 kick up tricks that you can learn now. All right, let's go. Foot stall. When the ball is falling, you should lower your leg to cushion it and tilt your toes upwards to trap the ball between your foot and shin. By pointing your toes upwards, you create a secure place for the ball to rest. You can then easily flip the ball back up and continue juggling. It's crucial to learn the foot stall since it paves the way for more complex freestyle tricks. So make sure to master this skill to advance to harder tricks. Thigh bounce. The thigh bounce is a move that is both simple and impressive. To execute this move, start by throwing the ball up just in front of you, create a 90 degree angle at the knee while slightly bending your standing leg. As the ball approaches your leg, extend your leg in a snapping motion like a cobra to cradle the ball briefly, then retract your leg in the same motion so that the ball pops back up. The thigh bounce is a valuable skill to have in your arsenal as it requires a great deal of precision. To find the right spot just above your knee, practice by placing the ball on your knee with your hand and create that snappy motion to make the ball pop back up. Around the world. To perform the around the world, you need to make contact with the ball and then rotate your foot 360 degrees around the ball before making contact with it again in the same spot. To practice, try juggling the ball while keeping it close to the ground, no higher than your knee. When you make contact with the ball, swiftly move your foot around it and make contact again as quickly as possible. You can move your foot either inwards to outwards or outwards to inwards, depending on which direction you feel more comfortable with. And when you've really mastered the skill, you can apply the same principles and perform it off the floor. To really understand the principles of this trick, put the football down and practice the motion that it takes to go both inside to outside and outside to inside. Toe bounce. When attempting the toe bounce, you plant one foot down and slightly raise your toe to create a surface for the ball to bounce off. As you raise your toe and the ball makes contact with it, you are set to continue juggling. It's important to get the positioning right and have the toe right underneath the ball as it's coming down to provide a smooth bounce. You don't always need your toes to be raised, just as long as you find the right position for your foot to cushion the ball back up for you to juggle. That will come with more practice. Next stall. The next stall is the technique of catching the ball on the back of your neck, which is a simple trick once you get the hang of it. To begin with, you can practice by placing the ball on the back of your neck with your hands, just to understand how it feels to balance it there. Once you're confident enough, try doing it while juggling. The key is to keep your eye on the ball at all times, and as it starts to drop, bend forwards at the very last second to cushion it with the back of your neck. It's important to wait until the last moment to ensure the ball cushions and doesn't bounce away. Chest stall. To learn the technique of the chest stall, you first need to focus on where to bounce the ball. You want to aim for the side of your chest, and it doesn't matter which side you choose, as both sides can be used. Use your shoulder to prevent the ball from slipping away to the side and let it settle nicely on your chest. To practice, throw the ball in the air with some height and as it bounces up, move under the ball to catch it with low momentum. Remember, slightly bend your knees as this will increase your flexibility and make you feel more comfortable whilst cradling the ball on your chest. Shoulder pass. To execute the shoulder pass, it's important to position the ball directly over your shoulder and keep your eyes fixed on it until it's near your shoulder. As the ball approaches your shoulder, pop your shoulder to launch the ball in a looping trajectory over your head, using the same technique on the other shoulder. Once you feel comfortable with the manoeuvre, you can integrate it into regular juggling by popping the ball up to your shoulder and performing the combination. It may seem simple, but will require a lot of practice. Reverse toe bounce. The reverse toe bounce is definitely a more difficult variation of the toe bounce trick, but this time we catch the ball on the toe bounce by swinging one foot behind the opposite leg. You need to ensure that the foot is positioned correctly underneath the ball and then slightly raise your toe, then the opposite foot steps over the ball once again to continue the trick. Crossover. When attempting the crossover, you need to cross your feet while juggling the ball by hopping off both feet mid-flight. One foot will go over the top of the ball, while the opposite foot underneath makes contact with the ball. Essentially, you'll be juggling and hopping mid-flight with the underfoot making contact with the ball, and the opposite foot crossing over the top of it. 
this skill is definitely one that gets easier with time. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. Be sure to leave the video a like and subscribe to the channel. See you soon.